Okay, so let's take a look at this problem solving question that is quite common throughout the whole of decision making. Now, this question is basically five different sentences. You have to interpret the information, put that information into a table or some sort of diagram for you to easily interpret and then work out the answer. So if you've done enough decision making practice, you will recognize this style of question. Now, if you don't recognize it, then that means you haven't done enough decision making practice, which is totally fine, especially in your early stages. But with that being said, let's get straight into it. So how do I attempt to tackle this question? Well, there is two methods. To be honest with you, both of them are quite similar. So let's attempt it. So Sam is in a cafe with his siblings having drinks. He, is, he has a younger sister, Amy, and two older brothers, John and Peter. Peter's the elder sibling. Three of them order three different drinks, hot chocolate, Earl Grey tea, and Pepsi, while one ordered a sandwich, but no drink. Peter is having a hot drink. Sam does not like Earl Grey tea. The youngest boy has a hot drink. Which one ordered Pepsi? Now, obviously, by reading that, you can't really work out in your head who ordered Pepsi because that's a lot of information to store in your head. But if you can do it, amazing. I absolutely salute you because, like, it's really hard to do that. But how do I go about this? Well, the first thing is that there are two different variables. Number one, there are the names. And number two, there are the the drinks and then the sandwich. So the best way to attempt this is to put it into a two-way table or you can put it into a just a normal table but as long as you have the information easily laid out in front of you easy for you to interpret then you're totally fine. So this is how I would do it. So the fact that I said that there are two variables is really important. So let's underline all the names. So Sam, so let's write Sam. He has a younger sister, Amy. So the fact that they've emphasized on the fact that he, she is younger means that we have to order the names in terms of their age. So Sam has a younger sister called Amy. Now let's put them, um, let's make this and the people who are eldest and this and the people who are the youngest. So Sam is older than Amy. And then Sam also has two older brothers, John and Peter. So let's write John, Peter, Sam and Amy. Okay, so now we've got the order of their names. Let's put them into a table. So all I need to do is draw lines between each one. Now, the next variable we need to look at is the drinks. So hot chocolate, Earl Grey, Pepsi and a sandwich. Now for E's, I'm going to abbreviate them. So hot chocolate will be HC, Earl Grey will be EG, Pepsi will be P and sandwich will be S. Now let's try and work out which one ordered Pepsi, which is the question. But how are we going to do that? We have to put all of this information in the table following step by step. So let's begin with the first part. Sorry, that's the first part. So one of the boys ordered a sandwich, but no drink. So let's put write down all the possibilities that they could have. So John is a boy. And so he could have hot chocolate, Earl Grey, Pepsi or a sandwich because he's one of the boys. He could have ordered a sandwich, but we don't know for sure just yet. So the same goes for Peter and Sam. So HC, EG, P. S, H, C, E, G, P and S. Now Amy is not a boy, so we don't put sandwich down. H, C, E, G and P. Now, so we've put all of this information into a table. Now let's look at the next piece of information. Peter is having a hot drink. So as we know, Pepsi is not a hot drink, so we can cross that out. Now, it's either going to be hot chocolate or Earl Grey. And also, because he's having a hot drink, he cannot have a sandwich either because it says three of them ordered three different drinks. So 
everyone has ordered something different. So therefore, because he's having a hot drink and ordered one thing, then that means he cannot have a sandwich. So let's look at the next part of the question. So Sam does not like Earl Grey tea. So we can cross that out. And the youngest boy has a hot drink. Well, the youngest boy here is Sam, as we worked out earlier on. So since he's having a hot drink, he's not having sandwich, neither is he having Pepsi because that's not hot. So as a result, he is only left with hot chocolate. So Sam is having hot chocolate. So therefore, since all three of them, all four of them are having three different drinks or a sandwich, then we can cross out hot chocolate on all of their lists. So Amy's not having hot chocolate. Peter is also not having hot chocolate. John is also not having hot chocolate. Okay, let's attempt the second last bit. So, to be honest, we've done the last bit. So, then, because we've crossed out hot chocolate from Peter's diagram here, table, that means he's only left with Earl Grey. So, Peter is having Earl Grey. So, now we can cross off Earl, Earl Grey from everyone's list. So, Earl Grey crossed off from John and Earl Grey crossed off from Amy. Now, you can continue, but... Obviously here automatically we've got our answer because Amy's now only left with Pepsi and the question is which one ordered Pepsi? So as a result Amy ordered Pepsi. Now if we were to continue obviously Amy is taking Pepsi so as a result we cross off Pepsi from John and John is having a sandwich. So our answer to this question is Amy so she is having Pepsi. Now, obviously, the way I talked it through, obviously, it sounds a bit long-winded, but obviously, in the exam, it will be a lot easier. And with practice, using this sort of technique, this sort of method, identifying the two different variables, or possibly three, because height was a third one, but it wasn't the main variable. So, so the main thing here is working out the different variables. So that was height, the names, and their drinks, or whether they had a sandwich or not. So those variables are really important. Now, usually it's two different main variables and you can put that into a table. Now, I ranked their height order, so I didn't really need to faff around putting that into a table as well. I then put their names and then under each name wrote down all the different possibilities that they could have and then bit by bit, I would cross out which one they couldn't have and then as a result, I came to my answer. Now, this technique I found like the most easiest and it's probably the best technique in my opinion in terms of layout.